Hi, uh, we continue with our blend tool. Now, if we don't have a selection and uh, we paint with our gradient, we will get to fill uh, the whole layer or an image if we don't have a layer, layers. Um, and right now we are not on full opacity, that's why we see our background there. We go on full opacity. We'll cover our whole uh, layer with color from the gradient. Now let's use the selection again. Now here, when you click, you get to choose from uh, GIMP uh, preset uh, gradients. There are a lot of gradients here. Again, like with the other menus like that, you get to zoom out, see them smaller or zoom in, see them bigger, see them in a list or in a grid like that. Or you can click here and open the gradient selection dialog, which right now is docked here. Now with this gradient selection dialog, uh, it will give us the ability to create our own gradients. Also, it's a quick way to switch in between gradients. You see here, you can see them, a lot more of them. And you don't have to click here and then select, just you can move through them uh, through this uh, selection dialog. And you see when you click here, your gradient changes here. Now we will discuss how to make our own gradients when we get to this uh, gradient selection dialog. Now here we have some interesting gradients which change according to our foreground and background color. Right now that's black and uh, white. But if we go here and let's change our uh, foreground color to green, click OK, then change our background color to red. And as you can see here, these have changed. Now let's look at them here click on our color selection dialog. Now the first one here, let's discuss this one, foreground color to transparent. So wherever our foreground color is, this gradient will go from that to a complete transparency. So if we change that to blue, for example, you see how we go from blue to transparency. The next one is foreground color to background color. When we go to our foreground color blue to red. You can see that if we change them, yellow to red, you see how that works. Now here, foreground color to background color, a hue saturation value clockwise. Now, here you can see how that changes when we changed our hue here we can also change our saturation and value of the color. Now if we are here, this is our zero point, uh, we get to see with the clockwise <coughs> uh, from this point to Uh, to the uh, background color. Now, see how we are on green here, and uh, this displays the colors from green to the background color, which is uh, red. And this one here, it displays counterclockwise from the green color from to all the way to the red. You see that green, blue, uh, dark blue, purple. So this is how these two work. The one is working from here, this is zero point to the point of the background color. And here, uh, from your selected background color to the zero po point again, but counterclockwise. So you get to use that too. Uh, here we will discuss this color selection dialog when uh, we finish with our paint tools. That's it for this video, we'll continue in the next one.